Hey, Emily, where are you? I've got something really urgent to tell you right away. Yes, what's that, Jennifer? Well, it's not that big a deal, but it's really urgent. It would be best if you could do it at the moment. My guests are coming in half an hour, and the house is such a stupid mess. So I need you to clean it and make it as speckless as you can. Or else, I'll lose my face in front of them. That would be absolutely terrible. Um, okay then. I'll do it in a few more minutes. Thank... Wait, what? In a few more minutes, you say? That's just ridiculous. Why don't you do it right now? I am dying to see the house clean by now. What the hell are you doing that you can't even spare a little time of yours to clean the floor? Well, I'm tidying our room. There's quite a mess here, so it's important to tidy our room up every week. Well, I'm almost done and just about to go out. Please don't worry about that. You don't want to clean the floor for my guests just because you are busy cleaning the room for your own? How ridiculous that may seem. No, no, Jennifer, that's not what I meant at all. I assure you, I have every intention of finishing up everything, including cleaning the floor before your guests arrive. I promise. I understand the importance of making a good impression, especially when it comes to your social gatherings. Oh, please. Can anyone even believe a word you say? You're just thinking about yourself and your own life. You're nothing but a selfish daughter-in-law putting your own priorities above mine. What's the point in doing that? Do you want to show me that I'm not that important to you? Yourself is everything, and I'm nothing, right? No, that's not what I meant. You misunderstood everything. I mean that I'm just in the process of cleaning our bedroom, so I can't do it immediately. Couldn't you just wait for about five to ten minutes? No, of course. I can't delay things any longer, as my friends are going to come to our home in a blink. If you still consider me as your mother-in-law, you'd better come down here, right now. Are you really ordering me? You have totally changed. Like 180 degrees. I can't recognize you anymore. Remember the first day I came into this house? You welcomed me really enthusiastically. You even said that I was the most beautiful woman you've ever seen. So I was completely taken in by those fake praises. And then I just lived here for six months without any complaint. What? I changed? Are you telling the truth? How could you say that about your mother-in-law? You filthy crooked bastard! How could I let a poor, stupid, and useless creature like you enter my house? It's just nothing but a waste of time and effort. You would never be of any help to our family. What? You're being ridiculous, don't you know that? How could you treat me this way? You're a terrible mother-in-law. Yeah, I'm that terrible. I'm that bad. So what? But I tell you this. Compared to you, it's nothing at all. What did I do? What did you do? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, Emily, you're killing me. When we first met, I totally thought you were some high roller from a super wealthy family. I mean... You even gave me this gorgeous necklace that screamed luxury. So, naturally, I just assumed you were living the high life without even bothering to ask Peter about it. But then, when I figured out your parents are all poor, filthy shippers, it really took me aback. Do you really mean that the reason for you to treat me like this is because of my parents? Wait, I can't believe it. That's just so heartless of you to do so. You are being increasingly harsh to me, even when I did nothing wrong. What's so important about having a rich background? Could you just please tell me? It's totally unreasonable to treat somebody like dirt just by considering their background. Who are you to have the right to give me advice? Are you rich? No. Are you hardworking? No, either. You don't even have the proper behavior towards me. Then why do I have to be soft to you? You are so cruel that I can't see you as my mother-in-law anymore. You look down on my parents. You look down on me. Oh, come on, Emily. Stop your stupid and useless stories. I'm getting tired already. Ugh. 
Why do I have to suffer the stupid burden that is you? I should have known this from the beginning and kicked you out of here a year ago. You're blocking my son's opportunity to thrive in his business. And you're just like your parents. You're able to do nothing but relying on others to leave. A pathetic free loading housewife, I have to say. Oh my gosh, seriously? Now you're trying to humiliate me too? Just take a moment to think about who asked me to stay here and take care of this family. It was your son, not me. He convinced me to quit my job and promised to handle everything. So if you're looking for someone to blame, it's him. He should take full responsibility for this mess. How dare you say such things about my son? That's incredibly rude and disrespectful. I can't believe you would stoop so low. Anyway, I don't want to have any further conversation with you. It's clear that you're just a freeloader, taking advantage of our hospitality. Oh, by the way, my friends are coming over soon, so you better clean the floor and prepare something for them as well. Got it? I can't have them thinking poorly of me because of your laziness. And another thing, when my guests arrive, could you please stay away from them? I don't want to lose face in front of my friends because I have a parasite like you. So make yourself scarce, got that? Wow, just wow. I can't believe how entitled and arrogant you are, Jennifer. You're so quick to defend your son and put all the blame on me. You conveniently forget that it was your son who encouraged me to be here and promised to support me. But now, when things aren't going as planned, you're trying to push me away and treat me like some kind of burden. Don't you dare talk to me like that. I've had enough of your attitude. You're the one who's been taking advantage of our kindness and resources. We welcome you into our home, and this is how you repay us? By disrespecting me and my family. I won't stand for it. Your hospitality? Is that what you call it? All I've experienced since I've been here is constant criticism and belittlement. You and your son have treated me like a servant, expecting me to cater to your every whim. And now, you want to throw me under the bus just to save face in front of your friends? It's despicable. You don't understand anything, do you? We've done so much for you, and this is how you repay us? I can't believe I ever thought you were worthy of being a part of our family. Clearly, I was mistaken. Your family? Is that what you call it? I've never felt like a part of this family. All I felt is like an outsider constantly reminded of my supposed inferiority. Well, you know what? I deserve better than this. I deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. I won't tolerate being treated like a parasite any longer. Fine. If that's how you feel, then maybe it's best if you leave. We don't need someone like you in our lives. You're just causing unnecessary drama and tension. Leave and find someone else to leash off. Hey, Emily. Are you okay with the wound? Well, it still hurts badly. Whatever. Don't think that I'm caring for you. It's just that my mom asked me to do so. You know, I'm her nice and obedient child, so I can't refuse her wishes. Oh, well, well, well. Look who decided to show his true colors. Peter, I must apologize for ever thinking that you had an ounce of compassion or kindness in you. Silly me, right? And your mom told you to ask about my condition? That's absurd. Maybe she just felt guilty for what she's done. Hold on a second, Emily. What in the world are you talking about? Blaming me for what exactly? You're acting completely irrational. Are you out of your mind or something? No, Peter. I'm not the crazy one here. It's your dear mother who deserves the blame. She's always found ways to insult and humiliate me, making my life a living nightmare. And just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, yesterday she went to a whole new level. She actually scolded me and even had the audacity to throw boiling oil at me. Can you believe it? I never thought I could be treated with such cruelty. And what did you do at that time? You did nothing. You just stood there and witnessed the scene without saying anything. Is it like watching a comedy to you? How could you be that indifferent to your own wife? Ugh, seriously, Emily? Can you please stop with your never-ending sob story? I mean, come on. You act like you've done so much for this house, but let's be real here. 
You're just a useless leech, constantly taking and never giving anything back. It's exhausting to be around someone like you. And let's not forget, it was you who willingly walked into this house, thinking you hit the jackpot or something. Ha! What a joke! I can't believe how easy it was to manipulate you into becoming a part of this family. It's almost laughable. Oh, and do you want to know the real reason I insisted on marrying you? It's because you're poor and naive. I mean, seriously, who in their right mind would fall in love with someone after a few cheesy pickup lines? It's hilarious. This is just unbelievable. I feel like such a fool for falling into your trap. All you wanted was a slave to boss around in this house, right? You and your mother are incredible actors, I'll give you that. You made me believe that you actually cared about me, but in reality, you treat me like I'm some kind of servant. Oh, here we go again with the dramatics. Look, Emily, maybe if you weren't so gullible, you wouldn't find yourself in these situations. I never meant for things to turn out this way, but hey, you played your part perfectly too. You were the perfect target, so desperate for love and attention that you fell right into my hands. How can you say that? I trusted you, Peter. I thought we were building a life together, but all you wanted was to control and manipulate me. It's sickening to realize that the person I loved was just using me for their own selfish desires. Oh, spare me the melodrama, Emily. I'm not the villain you're making me out to be. We both know relationships are never perfect, and sometimes people say things they don't mean. Maybe you should take a look at yourself and see how you've contributed to this mess. Are you serious? You're turning this around on me? I can't believe the audacity! I've given everything to this relationship, and all I've received in return is disrespect and mistreatment. I deserve better than this, Peter, and I won't stand for being treated like a slave in my own home. Then what did you do? <laughs> Mark my words, you inferior brat. If you dared to harm my mother... Hey, Emily. Look what we've got here. Check it out. We've prepared a surprise for you. Just go outside and see it for yourself. What do you really mean? Just do as you're told. Go outside and see it. Okay. Oh my god! I can't believe it! What is this mess? These are my stuff! What have you done with it? Did you break into my room and throw all of it away? Yes. Now you're becoming smart. Do you like this present that I've prepared? It's wonderful, right? I've made a lot of effort to prepare it for you. Anyway, don't need to thank me. It's just a little good thing I could do for you. Before getting rid of your forever! <laughs> what? Are you throwing me out? That's just unfair! It's impossible! You can't treat me like this! I don't deserve to be looked down on and humiliated like this! Like I care. What about you? You're always making me lose face towards others. Your inferior background and your terrible attitude just never stops driving me crazy. Wait, so now it's all my fault, right? Well, yes, it's my fault to come here and become your free slave. Even Peter also looks down on me and insults me like I'm a burden. Are you the one who's behind all this? You told him to do all these things to me, right? He's the most cowardly person I've seen in my whole life. So of course he'll listen to you. You're his mom. Please. You think everything is about you, don't you? It's not my fault. You can't handle criticism. Your constant whining and victim mentality are so irritating. And now you're accusing me of manipulating Peter? That's just absurd. You always find a way to twist things around and play the blame game. Twist things around? Blame game? That's rich coming from you. You're the master of manipulation. You know exactly how to push my buttons and make me feel worthless. It's like you enjoy seeing me suffer. Well, congratulations, you've succeeded. Oh, spare me the melodrama. You act like I have some grand master plan to ruin your life. Newsflash, Emily. I have my own problems to deal with. I don't have the time or energy to orchestrate some elaborate scheme against you. Maybe, if you stop being so self-absorbed, you'd realize that. Self-absorbed? Look who's talking. 
You're so wrapped up in your own little world that you can't see how your actions affect others. You're dismissive, condescending, and downright mean. It's no wonder nobody wants to be around you, including Peter. You've poisoned his mind against me. Poisoned his mind? Ha! <laughs> That's a laugh! Peter can think for himself, you know? Maybe he sees you for who you really are. Someone constantly playing the victim and blaming others for your own shortcomings. It's time you take responsibility for your actions instead of pointing fingers. Responsibility? Ha! Huh. Coming from the Queen of Denial, you refuse to acknowledge any wrongdoing on your part. It's always someone else's fault, isn't it? Well, I won't let you gaslight me anymore. I deserve better than this toxic relationship. Are you for real? That's good! Brilliant! Fantastic! What? Well, you still don't understand. Well... So let me set light on your hollow mind. I've found a new wife for Peter. She comes from a really wealthy family. And she even gave me a lot of nice presents. Much more than what you gave me, of course. So it would be really great if she could become a member of this family. She will make us proud. Not like you at all. You pathetic daughter-in-law. Oh no, you won't mean that, will you? You kicked me out and now you even wanted to find an alternative? How could you be this heartless? Okay, fine. I knew this day would come, but I can't believe you could be so evil as to throw all my belongings away. And even find a new person to replace me right after that. Then? You're just as inferior as your poor, miserable parents. Everything you've ever known is how to leech off money from others. And people like you must be with the poor, miserable ones, not with us. That's it. Enough! I've had enough of you and your terrible attitude. How dare you insult my parents? They have no fault in this. You know what? I've prepared for this day to come. You don't have the right to do that. I have filed for a divorce petition already, and I'm about to give you just now. What? What have you just said? Divorce? Are you sure about that? I'm 100% certain about that. Don't even question me. Then it's just fine. <laughs> From now on, we can get rid of you forever. Why don't you just tell me earlier? I'm gonna just share this great news with Peter. He really likes the new girl I introduced to him, so he would be over the moon to hear this. Whatever. I don't care what you're going to do with it. But from now on, I cut ties with all of you. I'll never set foot in this house ever again. We're strangers. I don't want to have any relationship with you. Fine by me. <laughs> now get out of here so I can breathe some fresh air. With you here, I'm feeling just terrible. So long and never see you again. Oh, trust me, Jennifer. I have no intention of ever stepping foot in this suffocating house again. I'm done subjecting myself to your toxic presence. I'll find a place where I can breathe freely and be surrounded by people who actually care about me. Good riddance! The feeling of relief washes over me knowing that I'll never have to see your face again. Hey, Emily! How are you these days? Mommy misses you a lot. Can't believe how much I missed you. You also miss us, right? Who are you anyway? Mommy? You're not my mom. Then who are you? Oh my gosh! You forgot me already? I'm your ex-mother-in-law. I'm Jennifer. Don't say that you don't remember anything. That's sad to hear. Ah, Jennifer. I remember you now. But you are the one who kicked me out. Why do you have the nerve to ask me these questions? It's really strange, I have to say. What? Weird. I don't see anything weird here. What's wrong with that? I care about you. So I just want to call and check on you a little bit. It's you who is the sensitive person here. Don't you know that? You're acting weird. Why could I not become sensitive? Just tell me the truth. What do you have to do this for? There must be a reason for this, I'm sure about that. Well, I know you always care about us. You used to be my dear daughter-in-law, right? What's that? Just spit it out. I don't have time to waste and play your stupid games. Okay. 
Can you just come down a little bit? So this is the thing. I just asked to see if you have any money left. We're on a dead end now. So it would be great if you could spare us some. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What on earth are you talking about just now? You want me to give you money? <laughs> That's ridiculous. You think that I'll give you money after what happened? But we used to have a relationship with each other. So you are supposed to help us overcome this period by giving us some money. That's how it is. No way. I'm not like before. Five years ago, you could order me to do things for you with your terrible attitude. But not anymore. I'm not the weak, naive girl you used to know. You know what? Now I can take care of myself without relying on anyone for help. And if you think you can force me into doing anything, then wake up. Now I have something to do, so get lost. No, you can't. Please, don't leave us. We don't have anywhere to go now. What about your new beautiful wealthy daughter-in-law? Didn't she lend a helping hand? What? She's the one that ruins our lives. She faked everything. Even her parents, her presents, her wealth. All of them are lies. She's just a freaking gold-digging woman. She tricked all of us into believing her and gave her everything. Then, even worse, she also secretly changed the owner of our house into her name. After that, she threw us out of the house. Now, we don't have anywhere to go. Wow, that's a story. But Peter does go to work, so he must be able to save some money for renting a house, right? I <sighs> don't even mention anything about him. He's making me crazy. He's nothing but a free-loading son. He has been laid off from his job. Now he works in a convenience store, earning only $200 a month. Not even to pay for the electricity bills alone. And whenever I ask him for money, he just quoted me and complained that I was a useless mother. That's not fair to me at all. Well, you deserve that kind of treatment anyway. What a shame. You kicked me out because my parents are poor. And now, when you lost everything, you called me for help? How ridiculous that may sound. Please, Emily. I don't have anyone else who can help me. All my friends left me because I'm broke. They even insulted me with the words like stupid pig, pathetic old woman, and lots of other humiliating names. You have to help me. You're the only one that I can turn to right now. No way. I repeat, there's no way I'll give you anything. But now you're a businesswoman. You sold things that cost a pile of money. You must be able to help us. Yes, I do have a lot of money to spend. But I don't want to spend it on you. Clear? What? You can't treat us like this. We're really sorry for what we've done to you. We really are. Sorry? Sorry doesn't fix everything, Jennifer. Your empty apologies are meaningless. You've caused so much pain and turmoil, and now you expect me to come to your rescue? No thank you. But I'm desperate. I have nowhere else to turn. Can't you find it in your heart to show some compassion? Compassion? After everything you've put me through? You expect me to just forget and forgive? Well, I'm sorry, but I can't. I can't keep enabling your toxic behavior and bailing you out of every mess you create. I never thought it would come to this. I never thought I would be begging you for help. But here I am, humbled and desperate. Please, Emily, give me a chance to make things right. It's too little too late, Jennifer. You had numerous chances to make things right, and you squandered every single one. I've learned the hard way that I need to prioritize my own well-being and happiness. I won't sacrifice that for you or anyone else. I understand that I've hurt you deeply, and I can't change the past. But I'm willing to do whatever it takes to rebuild a relationship and make amends. Can't you find it in your heart to give me another chance? I told you, it's too late. You don't know how pathetic you're being right at the moment. It's just disgusting. Get off of me. You're nothing to me just now. Mind your own business. Don't expect to receive anything from me. No! Emily! You can't! 
After that, I immediately blocked Mrs. Jennifer's number, but she managed to find another one and kept calling, begging for my forgiveness. Ugh, she was driving me crazy. Well, finally, karma caught up with them. They got kicked out of their own house by their new daughter-in-law, who then brought in a new man and lived there like they owned the place. Jennifer and Peter couldn't do anything about it, so they resorted to causing trouble around the house. And of course, the police had to get involved and arrest Peter for trespassing. I guess they're spending their time in prison now. It serves them right. As for me, I've actually become quite successful as a businesswoman of an online food app. The days of being a housewife allowed me to dedicate more time to learning and accumulating knowledge about the business world. Moreover, my parents are shippers, so I could have more understanding about shipping delivery. Now, my business is expanding rapidly, 